Hi YouTube, I should say good morning because it's actually 2, um, 11 in the morning. I really can't sleep. Um, I am tired. I mean, I can go to sleep, but I actually just finished doing my nails. I wanted to do acrylic nails, but I ran out of the acrylic uh, liquid. And honestly, I've had this for a little while. It's been sitting for almost a year now. So I decided just to just to do the glue on nails. And so this is what they look like. I like them. Um, that's the length of it. Not too long. I I can't do long nails. This is about this is about the length I usually have my nails anyway. So I want to see if I can keep them in for. For a little bit, I do have a photo shoot on Tuesday. Um, uh, there's been something I've been wanting to do for a very long time. Um, people might think it might be silly or, or whatever, but I really don't care. Um, I've always wanted to do some type of uh, modeling or like... Um, photo um modeling or magazine um like fashion magazine uh pictures you know like um like for like jesse Pen jesse penny or something like people that wear the clothes and take the pictures stuff like that so like photo photo um i can't talk i'm so tired i can't even talk but anyways i'm gonna attempt um everything i like, if I have a thought of something that I want to do, I always try to do it. At least if I don't finish it, at least I attempted it. I have a bad habit of starting and not finishing. But uh, it's been on my mind for as long as I can remember. And I want to do it. And if they call me, they call me. And if they don't, you know... There's more than one agency, so. But that's not what the video this is about. Um, this video is just about, like, random of, of a lot of things at once, I guess. So, on the 5th of May, which was my grandmother's birthday, my grandmother passed last year. So, she's in heaven with God. Um, she would have been 91. So happy belated birthday to my grandma. Um, I had gone to the weight management clinic for my second month follow up. When I got there, um, my God, I just got really cold. When I got there, you know, um, she asked me the, like I I was feeling kind of down. I was feeling like I haven't succeeded in anything but she reassured me that I really succeeded in what I, in the last two months and um she did a lot, a lot of blood draw I think she did like did seven different type of tests um we talked about what I'm eating what I should be eating what I should not be eating and stuff she's like you need to just introduce different type of foods and just do it in moderation of course so I've been doing that. The thing I have introduced is um, salads. And I'm so glad I did because that the fiber keeps you fuller. Um, you don't eat as much. Um, I mean, no, you'd be able to eat just a little bit more than just eating like chicken by itself or whatever. So the fiber is actually keeping me fuller for a longer period of time. It's just satisfied. It's um, has a lot of the one I got was from Panera. It has blueberries, strawberries, pineapple, um, um, pecans, and some mango. And of course, the chicken, poppy seed a dressing, and um, salad. And I got a full box, but you know that's gonna last me for for three to four meals. So I had dinner. But let's be for lunch and dinner tomorrow. Um, so, but, so I <clears throat> introduced that and it's been really helping me with 
with my fiber intake. Um, Ouch. Oh, sorry. It's that really hurt. Ooh. Um, my the cotton ball pack. This thing got stuck to my to my arm. I'm completely it was completely stuck. Kind of hurt taking it was like taking the bandaid off. Um. So I um. Uh, my results are all fine. So last week, this week actually, I had to call off on Monday because my body was hurting really bad. I don't know if you guys have ever experienced this. If you guys do too much throughout the week, like you feel really weak, your body aches really bad after the surgery. Because Monday I had 12 hour work, Tuesday I had appointments, plus other things I had to do for personal, for personal my personal thoughts. Wednesday, I worked 12. Thursday, I had two appointments plus. Plus, um, I had other things I had to finish doing. Friday, I worked 12. I worked Saturday and went out on Saturday. And then Sunday, I worked. By Sunday, and Sunday was Mother's Day. So, any Mother's Day, happy belated Mother's Day. I was beyond tired. And then my muscles start hurting Thursday. And it wasn't too bad. Thursday started hurting. Friday, I was just very tired. Saturday, I felt it, but I just ignored it. Sunday, I couldn't ignore it. I couldn't even walk up the steps. It would take me like four times longer to walk up the steps. We went to Walmart, and it was just agony. Even just to stand up was agony. So I had to call my boss until I couldn't make it the next day. And then all of a sudden, I have bad migraines. When they start, they start. And um, it's called, what I have is called occipital neuralgia. It's the uh, nerve in the back of my head that's get pinched. So they were actually supposed to do nerve block shot in the back of my head, in the base of my skull. But thankfully, with the... IV solution with high dose of prednisone and some pills that I was taking, uh, pain went away. But when it comes, it comes with a vengeance. So, um, my headaches started to hurt, and my muscles were hurting, and I was nauseous. So I went to the doctor to get seen because I did not want to take no chances. I thought my muscles were breaking down, honestly. But she said, my muscles are fine. Um, it was just the virus that I had. So with a couple of days of rest, I will be back to new. Um, she gave me my results for my lab work that weight management did. She said, everything looked great. My protein level was great. Vitamin B12 was great. Iron level was great. Everything was great. So... Um, I'm taking my vitamins, I'm taking my medication regularly. I might skip a day or two sometimes by mistake, but other than that, no, I'm taking them regularly. Um, and my food intake, I'm, I am eating breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Uh, I eat more than I take protein shakes, so I try to get my protein through food. So, for breakfast, for example, um, I lately, oh, better. Lately, for breakfast, I have been having. Ooh, I'm cold. I have been having cereal for breakfast. So I can take my medicine right after. And then, I usually don't snack anything between breakfast and and lunch. If I do, I have a protein shake or protein bar. If I didn't, um, then lunch is some type of protein, either chicken, fish, like tuna or something that's really easy. Uh, with some type of either vegetable, some type of vegetable, and then um between lunch and, and dinner, I'll have some protein again, like maybe um like a quarter cup of mixed nuts or uh, string cheese or um, something that has at least eight nine grams or more of protein. And then 
course, I drink, I drink my water throughout the day. And then for dinner, I'll have some type of high protein. But lately, I've been introduced, I have introduced salads, which I'm so glad I did because the salads are helping me with fiber. That's what I really needed is fiber. Fiber keeps feeling fuller. So, um, I, oh, I introduced fiber, which I have seen a difference in the past couple of days on how I've been feeling on, as in like, um, the nausea feeling I get if I don't drink enough water or if I didn't have enough food. Um, at that particular time, I have no idea what I did with the remote control. It's gonna... Um, so if I don't have enough drink or whatever, then I'll get that nausea feeling. So I have something to drink, then it'll go away. But I might drink my head. This is actually iced tea. This container um, holds up to four, um, four cups of water. So I try to drink full this plus my protein. <sighs> I'm still having a hard time drinking all this water. Um... I don't know, like, you know, uh, eating-wise, I'm still eating. I think I'm eating up to four ounces now instead of three. Um, but I do want to cut back a little bit. I feel like I'm eating a little too much. I know I'm eating a little too much. I think, um, like, after I finish eating, I can, like, if I take a belch, I I know it will come up. So I, I, I need to pay attention to my portion control because... Um, I'm not eating uh, too much, but I know I could be eating a little bit more less. Um, other than that, I think I am doing pretty well on losing my weight. Um, basically 30 pounds down, well, 31 pounds earlier, 30 pounds like two hours ago. Um, but 50 pounds since January and 30 pounds in surgery. Uh, I haven't started going to the gym yet um because after i got cleared to do what i needed to do i went ahead and did some skin testing like a week and a half later um i'm doing metal skin testing so they mark your back they put these pads on you on your this like sticker pads things on you for they put that on me on tuesday i had all went all tuesday and all night all Wednesday and all night on Wednesday and then Thursday they took it off but they still reach they trace my back and I can't sweat or get it wet at, in my back so I have to take birth baths which is gross um until Tuesday and then after Tuesday if they don't need to do more testing then I can then I'm going to be cleared to go to the gym to go swimming to do whatever I want to do um I do have my photo shoot on Tuesday, so on that, everything is doing really well. I don't regret the surgery, not one bit. Um, I just wish I could lose, I, you know, by end of June, if I could lose another, like, 10 to 12 pounds, at least if I can be, like, in, like, in the late in the um, high like two fifteen, that's like fifteen pounds. If I could try to lose that fifteen pounds by the by the end of the month, that'd be good. Um, and then because I want to be at least under two hundred when I go to Canada, which is in July. So if I can lose, um, I've been losing fifteen pounds a month. So when I start working out, if I can lose at least about 20 to 25 pounds a month, if I can lose 20 pounds a month, then I know I could lose up to like 40 pounds before I go to Canada. And if I lose 40 pounds, by the time I go to Canada, I'll be 190. Um, my clothing, my clothes size has gone down. Yay. Um, if it's a little stretchy, I'm able to wear... If it has like a stretch material, I'm able to wear large. Um, if not, then extra large or sometimes depending on what kind of material is 1X. Uniform, I can wear extra large but snug. 
so I prefer to wear 1X for um, 1X top for um, my scrubs and then X and then um, extra large for the pants depending what kind of pants now if you are familiar with scrubs and you are familiar with the Cherokee brand they run a little smaller anyways so for the pants I had to get an extra large for the shirt I had to get a 2x um so if it was any other uniform I think I, I would have been okay with large pants and a 1x shirt but the Cherokee brand it's the best brand so but on that I am gonna go to sleep I'll talk to you later